happy to see you. 117 years ago, a family packed up their belongings and took the journey from Chicago to Marceline, Missouri. Like so many others, they found promise in this treasured landscape, and the two boys from this family grew up on a farm just right outside of town. And this would be the change the world forever. The town of Marceline is beyond thrilled and honored to welcome you all to this celebration. And just exactly what are we celebrating? The one simple story of a family who traveled here and cultivated a legacy that now spans worldwide. Marceline is honored to be host to a history unlike any other, and we're beyond grateful to the team at Disney, D23, and the Walt Disney Archives for putting together this moment for all of us to share. And speaking of the Disney team, I would like to now introduce to you all a special guest of Marceline. He is the head of the official Disney fan club and an ultimate Disney fan himself, Mr. Michael Fargo. Thank you, Mayor. I thought we cut the dance routine, but that's okay. Um, Thank you. It is very humbling to be here with all of you today. And I don't think when the Disney brothers were growing up here that they would ever think that they would be, uh, that we would all be coming back over a century later to celebrate the things that they've done for so many others across the globe. And I just want to call out the fact that none of us would be here celebrating were it not for the Disney family and the foundation that Marceline provided them all those years ago. I want to thank the entire city of Marceline and all the incredible and amazing volunteers that have been helping out, especially today, for this amazing event, and for preserving this legacy for generations now, and for welcoming, welcoming us all, the fans, the celebrators with open arms, our partners at Citizen, all of our D23 members, Disney fans, special guests, and everyone from around the world. Thank you so much for celebrating with us. The city of Marceline has been making magic for travelers and historians who have come from all around to catch a glimpse of where the magic started. And I'm pleased to introduce to you another preserver of the magic. She's been carefully curating and collecting the stories of Disney for almost 34 years. And we owe a great deal of gratitude for her, to her, for the story she's been helping to preserve. So please welcome my good friend and the director of the Walt Disney Archives, Becky Klein. So Becky, yes. it's only a hundred years, yeah. but when you count Marceline, it's like 117 years, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Wow, exactly. amazing. Exactly. And I'm still trying to figure out how it managed to be here for 34 years myself. That still stuns me. Um, thank you so much, Michael, and everybody else for having us here. You know, it's really incredible to be part of something that has lasted a century. I think anything that lasts that long is amazing. And the Walt Disney Company now has been here for 100 years. And even before that, from 1923 is when the company started. But of course, it started really started here in 1906. That's right. And you think about the time since then. Look at everything that's happened at the Walt Disney Company. We've had amazing like stories, movies, characters, television shows, comic books. I mean, theme toys, <laughs> theme parks. Oh yeah, those too. Yeah, there's so many things, right? It's crazy. Yeah. You know, and I think it's really amazing to think that this all started with two boys who grew up on a small farm in the Midwest. And those two came off the farm and made history and made such an impact on the entire world. They're known worldwide, they're some of the most famous people in the United States, and I think it, it all started right here. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I just wanted to explain that, you know, at the Walt Disney Archives, where I work, we are dedicated to preserving the legacy of Walt Disney and Roy Disney, and uh, we dedicate our, our work to preserving the history of the Walt Disney Company. And it's very apparent that the legacy of our company is rooted in what began here in Marceline. What lessons could they leave us? You know, Walt and Roy left us so many lessons. There's just so many things that we can learn from studying their history. But I think two of the most important things, and things that, that I feel are important, is that they always, well, they never forgot where they came from. 
they always looked to their own roots and they always made a point to share their own history and their own origins with the world while still looking towards the future. Yeah, great, great. Well, I think we have a very special guest here with us. We today. do, we have a special guest that some of you know and those of you who haven't, you have a big treat in store. Uh, she's lived in Marceline her entire life and she's now a key stakeholder in upholding the incredible legacy of Disney at the Walt Disney Family Museum. So please welcome Kay Mallins. together in this town, Walt Disney's town. We're, we're so excited about that. And I think they'd be thrilled that we were here in Ripley Park. With them. I think so too. So I want to ask Kay, um, your legacy is entwined with not only Disney, but with the Disney family itself. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about what that's like for you? Yeah. And tell us about it. It is, it is. And actually my father and Walt Disney were friends. They met in 1956. And Walt was planning on having a, not a theme park here, but he wanted to own his boyhood home farm. He said, there'll come a day when a child will not know what an acre of land is. There'll come a day when a child will not know what happens when you put a seed in the ground. So his idea was to have a 1900s working farm here in Marceline with Disney educational values. And that's how they met. And he had my dad buy the farm for him because he said he could buy it cheaper than he could. <laughs> <laughs> and so the last 10 years of Walt Disney's life, he spent a lot of time coming and going from Marceline. Uh, he truly held us in his heart. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh. Well, speaking of the heart, the heart of this town, I think, is the Family Museum. And I, I know there is something at the museum that actually came from Walt himself, that he yes. donated to the Walt Disney Elementary School here in Marceline. And you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, when Walt came back to dedicate Walt Disney Elementary School here in Marceline, he brought several amazing gifts. One was a flagpole that had flown flags at the Squaw Valley Olympics in California. Another was a flag that flew over Sleeping Beauty's castle at Disneyland. And the other one was an orange Mickey flag. <gasps> Sounds familiar. Any, any children there know anything I about that? I think it's <laughs> familiar. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. And so we wanted to thank you for being such a great steward of the Disney thank history you. here with the museum, taking care of the history on this part of the country. And um, we'd like to invite a few fr familiar friends up to help us out with our next token of gratitude. So uh, please join me as in recognition of this anniversary as a gift to the city of Marceline. Uh, we would like to invite Mickey Mouse Woo! and Minnie Mouse. Woo! Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey. world-famous Mickey and Minnie Mouse here in Marceline, so what, a, what an honor, what a treasure. Okay, on behalf of all of us at the Walt, on behalf of all of us at the Walt Disney Company, in celebration of our 100-year history, we would like to present to you a platinum version of the flag that Walt gave to the city. Oh my God! Yes, as well. So we hope you open this, let's and I hope it. we got it right side up when we do open it. So <laughs> let's see what we got. Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Here we go. So we want to we hope that this reflects on an inspiring century. And one thing I wanted to tell you, Kay, um, while you're hugging, you get yeah. all the hugs I'm in. sorry, I got a hug. Yes, one of the things that we did is this flag was actually flown over the Walt Disney Studio 
and we, we filmed it and everything just for you, so you'll be able to see it. But we flew it on a very special flagpole. You mentioned that Walt had donated one to the Walt Disney, uh, the school, the yes. Walt Disney Elementary School. And it is a flagpole from the Squaw Valley Olympics. And we have one at the studio, so we flew it on that flagpole. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 So we just want, we, we hope that this reflects on an inspiring century both here in Marceline and for the Walt Disney Company. And we just hope it inspires all of you to continue dreaming just like they did. Marceline. Thank you, Peg. Marceline is a city where dreamers come to expand their horizons and build a brighter tomorrow. All of you who have joined us here today came here just as Walt and Roy did 117 years ago with ambitions, fears, and most importantly, hope for the future. Today, the city of Marceline would like to recognize a dreamer in all of you by declaring you all honorary Marceline citizens. Yeah. <laughs> and Mickey and Minnie, that certainly does include you as well. And I do have an official proclamation that I'm going to read. And it goes, it's somewhat lengthy, so bear with me here. Um, okay. Lost it. All right, whereas, there's a lot of that, whereas <laughs> D23 is the official Disney fan club for Walt Disney Company, and whereas, founded in 2009, the organization is known mainly for its biannual exposition events known as the D23 Expo, and has become known as the ultimate Disney fan event. And whereas, the name D23 refers to D for Disney and 23 for 1923, is a, which is the year that Walt Disney founded the company. And whereas, the D23 event showcases how deeply the Walt Disney Company is woven into the cultural fabric of an, at an international level. And whereas, the last one, that's the last one, the city of Marceline is proud to host the 2023 D23 event in honor of 100 years of the Walt Disney Company. Now, therefore, the city of Marceline, Missouri, I, Sally Buck, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Marceline, Missouri, do hereby declare that on this date, June 3, 2023, honorary citizenship is bestowed to all D23 members worldwide and further proclaimed today to be D23 Day. In and recognition of the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company in the city of Marceline, and I encourage all citizens of Marceline and Disney fans around the world to recognize the achievements and the contributions of Walt Disney to the world. Marceline, Missouri is the hometown of imagination, creativity, and magic, and it is now proud to be the official hometown in the hearts of all Disney fans. And although, although a lot of you may not may be leaving Marceline soon. We hope you carry its legacy just like Walt and Roy did. Thank you so much.